So we will start off a quick statement from Coach Hass. Certainly a great step for us to be able to uh, get back-to-back -back wins against Cal. Uh, this is a rarity for you know us in college basketball, but this year, uh, these kind of things are happening a lot where teams will play back-to-back -back games. And um, you know my uh, you know just evaluation. A lot of times it looks like those those games are split. A lot of times that comes down to human nature. But uh, regardless, we're excited about this. Um, uh, Cal's doing a good job. They're playing hard. Um, and when the three sh three point shots are going in, they become very, very lethal, very, very fast. Um, I thought our intent was good. Um, I didn't think our execution was great, but we only had 11 turnovers and that's usually a sign that we're going to do good things. I thought our efficiency offensively percentage wise was very, very good. Uh, we'd like to make a couple more free throws, obviously. And on the defensive end, I thought our ball screen defense uh, was a positive. Um, we struggled a little bit at times when they started uh, really attacking the paint. Um, but overall, again, I thought our intent was good. But I think one thing is there's going to be plenty to learn from from this game as well. OK, we'll now go into questions and starting out first with Michael Roberson. Go ahead, Michael. Coach, a solid win, uh, two wins against uh, the, your Battle of the Bay uh, opponent. 58% uh, from the field, which is really good, and uh, 32 rebounds. But your senior player, 23 points, six rebounds, and four blocks. So once again, Oscar coming through really well. What can you say about him? He's been as consistent as anybody. Um, you know, I can't imagine a whole lot of people, uh, any coaches can talk about their player being more consistent than Oscar and certainly a elite level performance. Um, he can score in so many different ways from the free throw line, low post, driving the basketball, shooting from the perimeter transition. And uh, I would also say our guys and staff did a nice job finding ways to get him the basketball to be successful, but he's passing the basketball. Well, he's playing unselfishly, but I know and his teammates know we're going to be better when we play through him, but Really a stellar performance again from him, and we've kind of come to expect that. Well, I'll go to Steve Croner. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Jared, uh, Bryce came back tonight. What's the status of, of him and the other two guys who have not been with you for a while? Yeah, hopefully um, everybody can work into practice. And, um, you know, I don't know how it's all going to play out this week, but. Um, Right now, I'd say everybody is uh, cleared medically to participate uh, with Bryce. It's, it was limited minutes today. Um, but what we're going to try and do is, uh, again, they're medically cleared, but now it's going to be just working guys in uh, with everything and, uh, and then really trying to put the puzzle together so that they add value and um, really uh, take our team to the next level, which I think is possible. But it's, uh, it's going to be uh, some moving pieces that it's exciting to try and move them and positions that we can grow and get better. Thank you. Go ahead now, Jacob Raber. Hey, Coach. It, it strikes me that you're facing a really good challenge in that uh, without three starters, the team really came together well and, and found a lot of cohesion. Um, and now it's a matter of reintegrating those three really talented players while keeping that cohesion. Um, what what are your thoughts on that good challenge? Well, it's um, it's going to be everybody in the locker room working together to figure it out. Um, the term I've used many times now with the team is we're all going to swim in the same direction. And to do that, we need to understand the game plan. And that's my job to provide the game plan, uh, provide the plays, provide the um, what our what our goals and state those goals. And then the player's job is to execute the best they possibly can. And we don't ask each player to um, do the exact same thing. They're all going to have different roles, and we're going to ask them to play their roles the best they the best they can. Um, but we're going to do that in a way that we're fired up for each other and knowing that there's one goal, and that's to compete and try and do our best to to win each game. And actually, kind of building off of that, um, something that's been noticeable in really many of the games, but uh, for whatever reason, really struck me today tonight. Um, was the reaction of the bench area to pretty much anything positive. Um, it, it was almost, um, I, I know it wasn't exaggerated, but it almost appeared exaggerated because of how the guys were acting. Um, 
especially in an empty gym, what's been the impact of that throughout this season and now in Maples? Yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool. And I love that you say that. Um, and it's nothing I've told the guys. It's nothing I've said. You know, I always talk about, hey, we need to provide energy. We need to encourage each other, all those kind of things. But um, what you see is genuine. And, uh, you know, maybe it's exaggerated, but it's exaggerated because it's, it is genuine. And there's a lot of care and a lot of uh, passion on the sideline right now and a lot of support. And so it's, it's great to hear that statement from you. And um, I'm hoping that really shows how together this team is right now and excited the team is to move forward. Thanks, Coach. Well, now go to Ben Ross. Go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, Ben Ross from the San Francisco Examiner. Real quick, just wanted to um, get, get back to Bryce Wills. It, it looked like he kind of tweaked the knee toward the end of the game, but from everything you're, you know, it, it, he seems like he's okay. Yeah, I, I haven't had um, the full report yet. Um, uh, I, I, his reaction was not <coughs> such that um, – Gave me a lot of concern, but the, the doctors will evaluate him, the trainers, and uh, we'll get through tomorrow. But uh, nothing that I know right now that will be limiting, but we'll go through the all the examinations and figure out where we get from there. All right, thank you. Thanks. We'll now go to Grant Avalon. Go ahead, Grant. Circling back to Bryce, what did it mean you know, to the team, both on the court and emotionally, to have him back out there today? And that was great. Uh, the team respects him. Uh, loves how much he cares, how much he works. Obviously, his defensive ability and and what he's doing offensively. There's a lot of positives there, um, but there's I think the guys uh, gave him a lot of support. We're excited for him, cheering for him, for him as you guys talked about, and um, I think he uh, provided additional energy and gave us some really good minutes today. And then another guy who's seen a lot more minutes recently and has made the most of it. Can you talk about what Lucas has provided? Yeah, I mean, pretty impressive, uh, five or six from the from the field. Um, but defensively, he's really doing some nice things in ball screen coverages and post play physicality. Uh, we still want him to continue to uh, get a couple more of those rebounds, but he's really added a, a nice dimension to our team, and he's really been a positive influence on everybody. Thanks, Coach. Okay, and then we're going to close out with Coach with Jordan John Lee. Go ahead, Jordan. Hi, Coach. Um, so you've built up a pretty healthy lead um, going towards the end of the second half and Cal started to make some good shots um, coming down the stretch. So I just wanted to get some quick thoughts regarding um, your mindset in those last three and a half minutes. Yeah, I'd give Cal a ton of credit. Uh, they, they were fighting uh, to the end. They're a competitive group um, and a talented group that, uh, especially from the three point line, when they get it going from three, um, you know, they become very, very dangerous, but they made shots. And, uh, you know, as a coach, I'm probably sitting here thinking we could have done a couple things better, but some of those shots were pretty impressive and under duress. And so I give them a lot of credit, especially not just the fact that they made the plays, but they had the competitiveness and um, kind of the, the look in their eye that they were playing to win. And so for us and for those reasons, it makes this uh, feel even better for us. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you very much, Coach Hass. Yeah. Thank you.